Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Alana and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I made my window coverings for my car camper. Now if you don't know, I live out of my Honda Accord part-time and if you're curious you can check out the full tour here. But in today's video I'm going to be specifically talking about the window coverings, how I made them, and what I'm doing to them today to make them better because mine are a year old and <laughs> they're not staying in my windows anymore so we need to make an adjustment. Uh, all you need to make these window coverings is Reflectix material, I found this at Home Depot, and black fabric, black duct tape, and Velcro. Technically all you need is the Reflectix and the Velcro, but the black fabric and preferably black duct tape help to make the window coverings just look black in your windows instead of being that like silver Reflectix material that makes it really obvious that you're sleeping in your car even though it's already pretty obvious. But anyways, <laughs> let's get into the video. Okay, as you can see here, we have our little Velcro pieces and we're gonna be adding it to my pre-made little window coverings. So the way that these work is I taped the black fabric to one side and I used the black duct tape to secure it. You could use glue if you wanted to, but um, I just didn't want the smell of glue in my car. Uh, and then this Reflectix material not only helps to block out the light when you're sleeping, but it also helps to block out the sunshine and keep your car a little bit cooler <laughs> during the day and the intense sunshine. Now the problem that I'm running into is I cut these out to be an exact fit to like just press into the car windows, but now that they're getting old and they're getting kind of crinkly when I press them in, then they kind of like, you know, puff out like that and then eventually during the night they fall. And so then all night I'm constantly worrying <laughs> that I'm going to wake up and someone's staring at me in my window. So we got some Velcro <laughs> and I'm just going to attach, I think, how many are in here? I think I'm just going to start with two at the very top of each one and go from there. I think I want to put the little, the fluffy guy on here. Okay, and then this one goes in my driver's window, so you can see the shape is a little bit different. Um, how will this work? <laughs> I guess one right here and one, well, then the window can't go down very far. I guess one right here. And one up here. Okay, now I'm going to take this down to my car and I'm going to attach um, the other sides to this first and then press it into the window to get the alignment correct. I don't know where that is. I literally used band-aids last night because I was so irritated. Okay, lastly, we just have to do the rear window cover, and this one's huge, so I think I'm going to do four across the top. Alrighty, I think that about does it for how I create window coverings for my car camper. I honestly would not be able to sleep in my car without these, so this is the most important step for sleeping in your car. Well, that and a lay flat bed. If you want to see how I created this bed, you can either check out the car tour that's already out, or the next video that I will be posting is a more in-depth look at how I built this bed. So if you're interested, be sure to subscribe and stick around for that, and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye guys!